What's going on, money friends and the viewers of the tube? Today, I'm gonna to be talking about why I haven't been really talking about crypto too much because it's been boring. I mean, really, there, I mean, sure, it hit an all time high, but if we look at what has been coming out in the crypto market, like nothing, literally nothing has been coming out that excites me. I mean, we can look at the coin market cap and look at the largest crypto uh, tokens out. There's been some changes, I mean, it Ton coin is new, I mean, but that's been, I mean, that's just Telegram. Um, but pretty much the same protocols as before, but nothing has been made. To, I mean, I think the newest one may be Render, where you can, uh, you can share your resources of your computer and everything with render but all these other projects like they're all crap um i mean yeah i mean they are all crap i mean they're either meme coins or stable coins and the rest are crap i mean let's just go through some of them and check i mean chainlink Art Oracle, great. Polkadot, doing nothing. Avalanche, sub, sub, uh, subnets, still doing nothing. I mean, none of these are, like, if all of these projects disappear tomorrow, it wouldn't change the landscape of business whatsoever. It would actually probably make the landscape of business better because it wouldn't be as much scamming going on. But I mean, like, Tron, not doing anything, Chainlink, not doing anything, Near Protocol, not doing anything, Polygon, not doing anything, the Uniswap, not doing anything, Litecoin, not doing anything, Pepe, not doing anything, Leo, not doing anything, Internet, Computer, doing nothing, Casper, doing nothing, Atmos, doing nothing, Render, probably the only person doing something, Hedera, not really doing, no one's really tracking packages with Hedera, Cosmos, another one, not doing anything, Mental, not doing anything, um, the games, um, I think this is gaming. Stellar, ah, there's a lot of court cases and looking at uh, using Stellar as a form of payment, I believe, or maybe that's XRP, you know, one of them. Um, let's see, XKB not doing anything. Immutable games are garbage. First Dollar Digital not doing anything. Chrono, Dog with Hat, Sue, the Grab. All these are like, they have no real use case. I mean, sure, maybe Theta has a video platform, um, but no one's gonna use that. Fetch AI, no one's gonna use their AI system. Open AI and all the other ones that are web two are way better. Um, are they, they're a market maker, so like that's an actual utility, but um, you know, Axie Infinity is a garbage game. Quant's garbage. Neo's garbage, Ronin's garbage, Sandbox is garbage, Worldcoin is garbage, Wormhole, I don't know. But let's check out some of these. Like, okay, let's check out Atmos. What, can, what are they solving? Make your move. Okay, it's a blockchain. We already have enough blockchains, great. Garbage. Stacks. Activate Bitcoin with a lending PT protocol. Okay, there's a million of them, garbage. Ma Mantle. Mass adoption of token governance technology. No one's going to use garbage. Injective. The blockchain built for finance. Oracles, which we already have oracles. Decent, uh, derivatives, smart contracts. So it's a platform to build other platforms. No one's going to use it. Garbage. OKB, faster, stronger than your average crypto exchange. An exchange, garbage, no one's gonna use it. They're gonna go bankrupt anyways. Theta. Reinvesting AI at the edge. So before they were uh, video and now they're AI. So garbage, not going anywhere. Same thing with fetch. I mean, no one's gonna use their AI. Build, deploy, and monetize AI services, which I'm sure 99% of these are just using OpenAI's um, tools, so garbage. What else do we have? StarkNet. 
zero knowledge of everything to hack for. Start hack. Is a secure scaling platform brings Ethereum benefits to the world. So layer two possibly garbage. Wormhole. I think this is a bridge. Built multi-chain. Yeah, it's a, it's a. I'm pretty sure it's a bridge, or it used to be, and garbage. So pretty much all of the major crypto exchanges projects or layer two solutions are all garbage. This is the thing. Russia and the United States and many other countries are building their own infrastructure for taking payments. That's gonna be faster, cheaper, and um, they control. They're gonna build their own blockchain layer two for financial payments. What's crazy is I don't talk about crypto too much because there's just so much, so much scammy behavior in it. I mean, th this project messaged me, a few of them, Green, Avery, Financial, Open Leverage, you know, a few companies, and they're no longer companies anymore. They just uh, essentially died because um, they went out of business. And I think that this is a, an issue. I think that... Um, most of these companies that are in the crypto markets aren't going to be around anymore. I think that um, once they get to a, let me just pull up this real quick. Boom. I think that most of these cryptos are probably going to disappear. I mean, they always do. Um, but I, all these crypto projects don't have any real utility. I think that the what's going to happen is at some point they're just going to only have these two cryptos, and exchanges aren't going to allow for you know all these other cryptos. So people are going to sell off and try and get into BTC or Ethereum only. Maybe a uh, like a stable coin or something that's. Uh, essentially is a CDC, what is it, CBDC, uh, central bank digital currency. And so in the grand scheme of things, I'm just, uh, you know, I don't think that crypto is, it's a, the only thing crypto is good for is for leverage. And if we look at the S&P 500, um, it, the gains aren't as great as they once were. If it, you can get 23% gains in a year, when you can get that in a day with crypto, then you know, it's not that, that, uh, it's not that uh, great. But what they do have is, uh, well, leverage. You can borrow against stocks. And so that's why the crypto market um, is going insane because it doesn't require a lot of liquidity to move and then you can borrow against it and just so much uh, below down. And that's again why you can see historical averages going up. You can see why everything goes up because debt is a thing and you can just keep borrowing against your debt. Anyways, I forgot what I was saying because I cut and had to do other videos and uh, got distracted, but whatever. I, I'm just gonna end it with this because um, my sound doesn't work and I can't listen to what I spoke, so peace.